Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to have DirectX uh, running uh, for your graphic cards while also having anti-aliasing and Bloom on at the same time. So, uh, May 2nd, 2012, Jagex released an update which uh, was to perform uh, fix performance issues, uh, mainly FPS issues that people had, and this was because of the bot nuke that they did somewhere in November or December, I want to say. Um, so what happened was, you know, many people weren't able to run RS uh, as smooth as they should be with their computer specs. So, you know, I myself had that issue too, but not to the extent of, you know, well below 10 FPS. I had about 30, 40 all the time. Uh, so basically today I'll be showing you, uh, yeah, how to get anti-aliasing and bloom on at the same time on DirectX. Uh, so for graphic uh, rendering, we have software, OpenGL, and DirectX. Uh, software, you should never really use it. It's it's really if you have a terrible computer, you have to pay a bare minimum for everything. But I think even then, you'd probably get more FPS playing on OpenGL or DirectX on really low settings. So I stay away from software. Um, now, I s with the new update in, I was still using OpenGL, and I was getting about 40 FPS still, and when I switched to DirectX, uh, lo and behold, I was getting 50, no problem. And I asked Ish, uh, Ish also was getting, uh, I think in the 20s, and I asked him to try it also on DirectX, and he was getting 30s, 40s. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to give you better, if you have, you have a Windows PC, I'm guessing, it's definitely going to give you more FPS. Now, the biggest problem with uh, DirectX is that you can't have Bloom and anti-aliasing at the same time. So like if you look at this house over here on my right, there's like all the edges are fine looking and there's not really that many problems, like it looks smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on DirectX, let it load. And if you look closely, actually you know what, that was probably a terrible example. Hold up, I'll show you the fence over here. The fence is probably better. Alright, as you can see the fence, it has like zigzags if you look at it. And that's because DirectX has Bloom and anti-aliasing at the same time. So if I go ahead and turn off Bloom, there you go, you can see right there. It is just smooth, there's no zigzags and it just makes everything look nicer. But on my completion escape, there's no smoke, is barely nothing. And if you look at the fire over here that this faggot is cooking on, it's not that bright. So let me go back and... Uh, turn it on alright so yeah you see the fire go going up and my cape has more smoke but it looks bad so uh, yeah today I'll be showing you how to fix that and how to have boat on at the same time on DirectX uh, without any problems alright so I went ahead and closed my RuneScape window um, now for this I'm using the official RuneScape client. Uh, I'm not sure if using SwiftKit or Internet Explorer or Firefox to play how how it works with this. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about that, but with the RuneScape client to do as follows. So you go to start, you go to your account. So for me it's Chris. And right here we have two Jagex uh cache. Forget about the one. I don't know what that's for. Just completely ignore it. If you, you should probably should, you probably won't have it. I don't know why I have it. Um, double click Jagex the the cache the first one. Uh, Jagex launcher. Go ahead and go to bin. And now here is where the magic happens. The name of the th of the actual launcher is called Jagex launcher. The a the actual application. Go ahead and rename that to W G W M G A M E. So W M G A M. -E. So WM game. So there it is. Hit enter. You're done. Um, now this is where it gets different. If you have an, an ATI card, so you could go ahead and close that. You're gonna right click. You're gonna go to Nvidia Control Panel. Uh, I'm pretty sure ATI and slash AMD has their own. So you're gonna probably have to go in there. For Nvidia, you go to 3D Settings, and you go ahead and click Manage 3D Settings. Now once you're in here, you're gonna have two tabs. You have your Global and Programs. Go to your programs. Um, go ahead and uncheck this box that says show only programs found on this computer. Uh, click add. And I already did it, but what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go back in that same thing I showed you before the Jagex cache, Jagex launcher, double click the bin, and you're going to see your game right there. Click open. 
and now that it's open you have to do two things <coughs> you have to go to anti-aliasing mode over here and make sure you click override any application so that means if bloom and anti-aliasing is going to be on at the s it could be on at the same time because anti-aliasing no matter what will always be turned on despite like any other settings telling it not to so that's how you get around it you, you to put that in and you just choose what anti-aliasing you want to run at, which you could do inside the RuneScape client itself, but I'm just going to uh, let it stay at 4, because that's the highest RuneScape would do either way, despite you having the option for 32. So go to 4, and that's all. You just hit apply. And now that you hit it apply, um, it's finished. i uh, just going to forgot to tell you guys one thing. Over here it should say Warmonger. That's a WMG. Uh, AIM stands for when I told you to rename it. So make sure it says Warmonger. Just say Warmonger, it won't work. So yeah, when you add it, it should automatically come up. If it doesn't, you could just hit the drop down and you could find your game. You could find Warmonger over there. And make sure that this is unchecked, of course. See, there's like all kinds of games. So it's called Warmonger. That's the engine I guess RuneScape uses. Uh, yeah, so you hit apply, restart your computer, open back the client, and um, we'll see if it worked. Alright, so now we are back, and I did indeed throw it into DirectX. A uh, little side note for this, um, if your computer isn't that strong, and you're just trying to like do this just to see how it would look like, in uh, how it, like with both of them at the same time, you're going to have to go ahead and like retrack all your steps, because once you, th once you have that done, despite even if you throw your anti-aliasing offline, like if you put it on, on none, it's still gonna it's still gonna be on because your graphic card is being forced to do it no matter what these settings say. So that's just a little sign of like if you're gonna planning on just using it for like you know five minutes and then you're gonna turn it down because you like too much. Um, yeah, you're definitely gonna have to go back and redo that. So just retract your steps, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's how you get them both on at the same time with the anti-aliasing. You know, obviously working. Um, some problems I heard people were telling me when I told them how to do it is that they were saying it wasn't working on resizable or on full screen uh, or even on fixed with in that case what I would do is I'd throw throw it up in full screen like the game just for momentarily just just to see and uh, go back to resizable uh, just basically switch around with the resolution it's definitely gonna be like a resolution problem that will solve that um, and yeah it should work if it doesn't work I Post in the comments which you, like the problem is that where you get stuck at or anything like that. I'll try helping you out, but uh, I don't know if I'll be able to. And if anyone has an ATI, uh, like an AMD card, uh, so like you know Radeon, and you do manage to get it going, uh, just say in the comments please like how you did it so that other people could uh, see it. I'm sure I'm sure it's not that complicated. I mean, you probably still have to find the warmonger and you have to uh, tell it like the mode to always be in the rectex you have to just choose it i'm sure it's almost the exact same uh so yeah you guys definitely amd ha definitely has a uh, control panel for that i know that for a fact so yeah uh, i hope this video helped and uh yeah thanks for watching